The F1 Circus has finally arrived at the most anticipated racing show in the world, the inaugural race in Las Vegas. And while everybody is expecting it to be a massive spectacle, there are some underlying issues that will definitely raise some concerns about the longevity and sustainability of this race. The drivers are not particularly happy that they have to go out of the traditional way of racing just to please the show, as Verstappen called it. And with the track temperatures poised to break the world record that stands for 40 years, we may be looking at an absolute disaster of a race ahead of us. The Las Vegas GP is poised to be one of the most spectacular showings in the United States. And with the hype building for more than two years, the pinpoint was reached when the news about a three-suite bedroom for six people with a direct view of the track reached a staggering price of $1 million per three nights. However, once the local workers demolished the entire city and started working on the track and caused a lot of havoc in the traffic, the locals were visibly annoyed with the fuss that the circuit is going to create year after year, and therefore the interest and the hype have simmered down massively. The prices for the hotel suites have gone down by as much as 83%, and notably, all of the fans who booked in the middle of the hype are now looking for rebookings or are threatening to sue the hotels if they're not compensated fairly. But this is just one part of the problem. The other one comes from the track and the drivers themselves because the conditions are rather questionable for racing and qualifying sessions. For example, the qualifying session will start at midnight, and if you're wondering why the race isn't held at afternoon times, please keep in mind we're talking about Vegas, the city that glows under the night lights, and the city that will cash in some serious amounts of money throughout the entire racing weekend. Yes, the track temperatures will be an absolute challenge, and the drivers feel like they might need more than one lap to warm up their tyres due to the 1.9 km long straight, the second largest after Baku. But it's all part of the show, and they're just here to contribute with their respective actions. Now, the race will start at 10pm local time, and this is when things could get heated. The racing weekend is very likely to include a lot of front tyre lockups, as well as a long and painful process of bringing the tyres to their optimal working temperature. We must not forget that while the 1.9km delta provides the perfect opportunity for overtakes, the straight speed is going to be massively hindered by the tyre temperatures and drivers might not even push their cars to their limits due to the fact that they won't be able to control the braking at the end of the delta, resulting in lower top speeds and more careful driving. To top that off, this is a low down force circuit, and it does not provide enough corners for the drivers to warm up their tyres before they even hit the main straight, and considering the fact that the tyres lose the most temperature when they're on the main straight and not in cornering manoeuvre, even the temperature that was built up until the long delta will be gone by the time the car is halfway through it. This does not translate to the good news for the drivers, who had a lot to say about why the caravan is actually here in Vegas, with Verstappen being visibly the most annoyed driver of them all. Speaking on this matter in further detail, the three-time world champion went on to say, First of all, I think we're there more for the show than for the racing itself if you look at the layout of the track. But you know, I'm not actually that into it. I'm more like, I'll go there and I'll do my thing and be gone again. Furthermore, he was asked as to whether the Vegas race resembles anything to the legendary track in Monaco, to which he replied, Yes, but Monaco is also just history and the place itself. Everyone wants to have been to Monaco once. You can't really compare it. The Las Vegas GP is coming after the increased popularity of the sport in the USA, and this is basically the perfect marketing agenda that Liberty Media has applied to the sport in the past couple of years. There's no better place to promote the sport than one of the places where people are going to spend tons of money, both on watching the race and gambling in the casinos. And things have gone to the extent of Toto Wolf applying a ban on the entire team and restricting them from visiting any of the gambling facilities that are all over the place in Vegas. However, proving to the world that Las Vegas is worthy of staying in F1 for as long as possible is going to be the primary mission of F1, as it seems like the locals' anger has turned massively against the entire sport. While trying to be popular and appreciative towards the people who live in Vegas, F1's construction work and the disruption of the entire city, as well as the hotels and casinos trying to bank in huge money on the backs of the workers, is something that has the potential to actually ruin the entire experience of the racing weekend. Lewis Hamilton has opened up on this and said that the sport needs to pay out a lot more attention to the people who are not on board with F1 being in Las Vegas, as he added, I've heard there's been a lot of complaints about the event being here from the locals, and I think we have to be respectful of the locals. So many people here are working so hard. There's lots of money and wealth in this city, and also the places we're going in this industry, so we've got to make sure that people are taken care of. We can't be a circus that shows up that's all glitz and glamour and people are negatively affected by it, in my opinion. But the racing experience itself is something that all of us will be eager to see how it'll play out. 
and due to the simple layout of the track, we should not be expecting any major challenges or difficulties for the drivers to navigate through the circuit if they're to warm up their tyres properly. Another potentially huge issue that would ramp up during the qualifying session is drivers having to drive more than one warm-up lap in order to put enough temperature in their tyres, which would create absolute chaos when it comes to the traffic jam and make quite an interesting qualifying grid. Regarding the race, Alex Albon from Williams, who feels like his team has stronger chances here due to the top speed of its car and the low downforce requirements, said that overtaking should not be an issue, even though it's been heavily questioned due to the track temperature and the bumps that are present throughout the long flat-out blast along the strip. Elaborating on this matter even further, Albon said, It's quite a simple circuit in terms of its layout. It's easy to learn. The track is quite interesting. There's quite a few combined corners which are not easy for front locking, which is not great for our car, but that's fine. The one thing which will be interesting is the roughness and the bumps of the track. How well of a job they've done on that. I think in terms of racing, there's going to be lots of overtakes, because at least from what I've drove, there's a lot of opportunities, a lot of places you can overtake. The straights are absolutely massive, especially coming out the last corner into turn one. It's a corner that's not that hard to stay close to the car in front, so I think you'll get quite a lot of overtaking. But apart from Albon's positivity, there's something that's been quite present in the last couple of weeks, and it hasn't received as much attention as it should have. The protests of the local workers. There have been tons of strikes about workers wanting their wages increased due to the overload of work that's coming their way through the entire weekend. And this has been all over the news in the USA. Rightfully so, nobody wants to put in extra work to please the mass that's going to flood Vegas in the following period. And when everything settles down, they will be compensated as they would have been on any normal weekend, which is not the right way of treating people. Still, Hamilton feels like the weekend is going to be an experience that we're not going to regret witnessing. And when talking about this matter in a further notice, he went on to say, It's going to be such a compact sport with so many people. I think it's going to be a wild experience. The best thing is to just go with an open mind, not have any predetermined ideas of what it's going to be like, and just take it all in when you get there. Driving in the night lights is going to feel like I'm in a casino movie. It's pretty cool. People are going to be coming from all over the Grand Prix. It's great that each city here in America gives a different atmosphere, but the one thing is they've got amazing fans, hardcore sporting fans. Now, there's no secret that F1 being in Vegas has a huge commercial value for the sport, and with the ever-growing fan base in the sport as well as Andretti knocking on the door and wanting to promote an all-American brand, this has the potential to put the sport in a position it would have only have dreamed of a couple of years ago. Nonetheless, if the risk of the driver's safety due to the low temperatures, which paradoxically has not been anticipated when the race was planned back in 2021, is increased, then the sustainability of the track is something that will definitely come up as a question more than once in the following period. Still, we're bound to see a spectacle, and whether it will be on the negative or the positive side, let us know in the comments below.